two things have come in. Initially, when we planned this event, we didn't have an idea that another bigger event would be taking place within uh, the, the, these premises. And therefore, a number of our invited guests have gone to the other, you know, uh, program. But uh, we would want that in about an hour we are done. And therefore, you would allow me to make very few remarks. And then I allow our MC to proceed. It's with great pressure that I welcome you to this breakfast meeting that marks the launch of the development of a legislative framework for public participation in Kenya. Your presence here today is a reflection of our collective commitment to enhancing uh, democratic governance in our country. The concept of public participation in Kenya has evolved over the years. Before the promulgation of uh, the 2010 Constitution, uh, governance in Kenya was characterized by limited public engagement. The promulgation of 2010 Constitution was a major step forward in enshrining the principle of public participation in our governance process. Kenya has made significant efforts to enshrine the principle of public participation in various uh, pieces of legislation and in institutional mechanisms. For example, Part 3, part, uh, sorry, part 8 of the County Governments Act provides for citizens' participation in the counties. It also sets out the principles to guide citizens' participation, modalities, platforms for citizen participation. In practice, various initiatives have been rolled out by public bodies and agencies to encourage public engagement, public forums, town hall meetings, and online platforms have been used to gather input from the public. However, the absence of a comprehensive legislative framework for public participation uh, poses significant challenges, including inconsistency in the manner that the public participation is conducted across uh, different sectors and levels of government. Expectation of, uh, of uh, inclusion gaps where the marginalized and minority groups have not been adequately engaged, leading to decisions that do not adequately reflect the diversity of our, of our society and the legal and procedural uncertainty that has resulted in disputes over the legitimacy of decisions made without uh, public participation. Ladies and gentlemen, cognizant of these challenges, the Kenya policy on public participation was developed by the Office of the Attorney General and Department of Justice and approved by the Cabinet and is pending uh, approval by Parliament. The main objective of the policy is to provide comprehensive framework of the, for the management and coordination of public participation uh, in Kenya for the fulfillment of constitutional requirement on citizen engagement in development and governance processes in the country. Several public participation bills have been submitted to Parliament for consideration, including the Public Participation Bill 2024, which was officially handed over to our office on the 5th of September 2024 by the Clerk of the National Assembly. The Office of the Attorney General and Department of Justice has taken on the responsibility of overseeing the development of a sound legislative framework for public participation. As we commence the development process, we recognize that your input as stakeholders will be invaluable. As representatives of civil society organizations, government agencies, 
community groups and the private sector, your insights will play a crucial role in crafting a robust and effective framework for public participation. Once again, uh, I want to thank you all for being here today and for your commitment to this, uh, uh, to this process. Without much ado, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want now to say that you are coming here. Please and you note, we want your invaluable contribution, participation, because public participation, if you realize, you go to any, any court, you would very easily get an order because you will be told that the public participation was not done. And therefore, this process today, which we are starting, and which will be shortly providing a roadmap on how we want to proceed, we would be able to come up with the legislation that would enable us to settle this long-standing uh, issue of public participation. And therefore, I just want to recognize those who have uh, joined us. Uh, if I have not seen you, our MC will continue recognizing us. As I said, we want to recognize uh, our peers, Aurelia, uh, Rono, who has been uh, very, very, very committed to this process. Aurelia, just a hearty clap for Aurelia, our peers. Uh, we want to recognize uh, uh, COG, Mr. Tom Gataka. Welcome. We want to recognize uh, Rehema Chebet. We want to recognize uh, uh, David, uh, Dennis Abisai from uh, National Assembly, uh, Dr. Mogesa from uh, uh, KNCGR. Uh, we want to recognize uh, Florence Mumbi from CJ and many, many, many others who have come and will continue to recognize you. Today, was a pre today is a breakfast meeting and we want you to feel at home. Don't feel shy. Don't even think that we are few. We are many. The message we sent, we sent home today is one that the process has simply started. Let us not make a mistake. This is just but the process that would finally culminate in the, uh, in the, the Attorney General, the Honor of the Attorney General submitting a uh, draft bill to the National Assembly. With those many remarks, I now want to 